If you want to implement Firebase authentication inside your app or web app or whatever you have, then this is the right video for you. Here I have a web app, but it works exactly the same if you're using just a website and we are going to do everything with React. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to Firebase. So we're going to click on Firebase and then from here we're going to click on console. So go to console and then we are going to create a new project. And here you are going to name the project and then I'm going to disable the Google Analytics and then you'll have to wait once it finishes. Once it's done, continue. And the first thing we need to do is we need to set up Firebase for our uh, project. So we go to Visual Studio Code, this is what we get. And uh, I've already created a sign up and a login page. And this is what the sign up page looks like. I basically have three inputs for the username, the email and the password. And then I also have the login page where I just have the email and the password. And here I'm using Ionic Components, which is a React library for building apps. And I'm using OnIonChange, which is the same for OnChange. And then I'm setting the email to the value of the input. And also I'm setting the value of the Ion input to the email. So here I'm using useState uh, to track the value of the email and also the password. And obviously for the sign up page, I also have the username. So now you want to go into the SRC folder, so make sure you click on the SRC folder and that the SRC folder is highlighted and then we want to create a new file and we're going to call this Firebase config. So Firebase config.ts and I'm using TypeScript but you can use JavaScript too. So now we want to initialize the app so we're going to import a function for that. So we're going to import initialize app from Firebase slash app. Then go back to Firebase and click on this gear icon here and you're going to go to project settings. Then scroll down and you want to click on this icon here. And here you can enter a nickname for the app. Then we're going to register the app. Now obviously you would need to install Firebase if you haven't installed it. So you just need to type npm install Firebase. Once you have done that, uh, all you want to do is just copy this portion of the code here, not the whole code where it says Firebase config and then the other part. So here I'm going to basically paste this and then I'm going to say initialize app and then I'm going to insert the Firebase config here. So if you reload the page, you shouldn't see any errors. And if you don't see any errors, it means that the setup was successful. Then for authentication, we need an auth instance. And to do that, we need to use the get auth method. So we're going to say export const auth is equal to get off and we're going to import get off from firebase slash off now let's first implement a sign up functionality and then we're going to do the login and also the logout functionality to do that we first need to enable authentication for a firebase project so go here to the drop down and click on authentication and then you're going to click on start here you have some providers that you can choose from so Google, Facebook and GitHub and others. Uh, but in this case, we're only going to use email and password. If you guys want, I can also make another video where I explain how to use these providers. So click on email and password and enable the service. So then save, then click on users. And here you can see all the users that have signed up to our application, obviously. On the sign up, we need to retrieve all the data from the username, email and password input. And then when we click the sign up button, we're going to invoke a function, which is a Firebase function that basically lets us uh, create a user with a email and password. So we are going to create that function here on the Firebase config. So we're going to say export const sign up user, and we're going to make an arrow function. Here we will accept the username, which is a string, the email, and also the password. Then we need another function from Firebase Auth, which is called create user with email and password. So we're going to call the function and then we're going to pass the auth instance, then the email and also the password. Then we are going to get the credentials. Then we can say console.log the user was created and here we can pass the credential.user and from the credential.user we can also access many things such as the display name, the email, the profile picture and other data. 
here we are also going to catch uh, an error and if there is an error we are going to say console.log the error once the user is created we also want to assign the username and to do that we are going to use the update profile function so we're going to go here and say update profile so then we're going to say if auth.current user so if there's a user then we're going to update the profile passing the auth.current user and then an object where we can change the display name so we can set the display name to the actual username before we test it out we need to call the function from the sign up page so let's go to the sign up page and where we have the button we're going to say on click uh, then we're going to use an arrow function and we're going to say sign up user and we're going to pass as the username obviously the username and then we're going to pass the email and the password so here we can say username John Doe then email test at gmail.com then I'm going to enter the password and I'm going to sign up and so here we can see that the user was created and this is the user object that we get and if we go to Firebase and we reload the page we should see the user here so test at gmail.com so here after signing up the user I also want to be redirected to the login page so I'm going to say history dot push slash page slash login and obviously we need to define history so at the top we need to say cons history is equal to use history which is a hook provided by react router dom so then on the login page we need to use another function by firebase so here we're going to say whenever we click the login button what we're going to do is we're going to say sign in with email and password which is also imported from firebase and here we're going to pass the auth which we exported from the firebase config then we set the email of the input and the password of the input and then here we're going to say then we also get another credential and here we're going to say console.log uh, the user is logged in and we're going to also log the uh, credential.user again then I'm going to define the history so history is equal to use history and then I'm going to say history.push to slash page slash home so we're going to get redirected to the home page so right now it should already work in fact if you go to the login page and we enter the email and also the password when we click login we should be redirected to the home page and it says that the user is now logged in so the login is done now we actually need a way to log out because right now we cannot uh, do that and for that we are going to go to the firebase config and we're going to define the logout function then we're going to import the sign out function from firebase auth and here we're going to say sign out we're going to pass the auth and then i'm going to say then we're going to say the user logged out and then I'm also going to cache the error and I'm going to say console.log the error then we need to call the logout function and I'm going to uh, call the logout function from this button here which is this image so this is the button and I'm going to say on click uh, we're going to say logout here if we click the logout button it says that the user is now logged out however I also want to say that whenever we log out we immediately get redirected to the uh, sign up page or the login page but before we do that we actually need a way to keep track of the user and we could do it in Firebase using Firebase function but there is something called the React Firebase hooks where we can use some hooks that are very easy to use so first you need to actually install React Firebase hooks using npm and the hook that we are going to use is going to be called use auth state from React Firebase hooks slash auth and here we can say const user loading and error is equal to use auth state and we need to pass the auth instance so we need to import the auth instance and to test that this user works we're going to go here and we're going to say hello and then we're going to say uh, user dot uh, display name and if we go to the login page and we log in we should see hello John Doe because this is the username that we first created 
then we can also use the history with the use history hook and then we're going to use the use effect hook so here we're going to say if there is no user so if the user is not logged in and is not loading we're going to say history.push and we're going to go to the page and login and also here uh, we're going to update the use effect whenever the user changes so now if we click the logout button we should be redirected to the login because the user was logged out and so we didn't have a user and now we're in the login page so if we go back it works exactly the same so as you can see it was very easy to do this and if you want to see more videos like this you can always use the comments